As we cross into Kansas, we are still, you know, early in day one of this trip on the Oregon Trail. Um, you know, got through Missouri and now we're, hopefully things will open up a little bit more and we'll, we'll kind of start to get moving. There's going to be more small towns. Uh, there will be a couple cities that will kind of go through fairly quickly and we'll check out uh, several historical sites. So let's get started with Kansas. Here's an overview of where we're getting started. This is where we're heading into Kansas from Missouri. You can see the little red dots right here. That's the Oregon Trail, so the Oregon National Historic Trail. So I'm gonna follow kind of close to that through some little towns along the way, on over through Gardner, and then as you see it goes up. I'm not following exactly because you can't really go on some of some of it, so I'm just gonna kinda go somewhere close to it. between Gardner and Edgerton, Kansas. Right out through here is where the Santa Fe Trail split off and the Oregon, California Mormon Trail went in a different direction. So these, there's no wagon ruts, but these uh, markers kind of show where the trail went. So goodbye Santa Fe Trail. from Eudora. We're going to come into Lawrence here and then we'll be pretty much following right along the trail all the way over to Topeka.
across the river in Topeka. And then we follow the trail pretty much right along 24 over to St. Mary's. Oregon Trail Road kind of breaks off right here. We're we'll dip into Sea Bellevue and then we'll go back up and follow the trail on to Louisville. So very small cemetery. Uh, obviously they didn't have probably a lot of time or you know, not able to put together a lot of you know, headstones or something like that. So they, most of the people just got buried under the ground and, and right here along the river. So sad area, kind of an unusual place to stop and check out on the Oregon Trail. we come into Louisville, we'll head north on 99, on up to Westmoreland. Continue up on 99. Once again, we can't really follow exactly on the trail, but we'll go pretty close to it. We'll actually cut over on some back roads here, and then we'll head over towards Blue Rapids. The trail kind of crosses over this way, but we can't cross over anywhere here. So we'll go up here. We're gonna stay the night in Marysville. End of day one on the Oregon Trail, and I've made it to Alcove Springs, and it's just uh, south of Marysville, Kansas, and uh, kind of fitting to finish here today because this was a destination point for so many of the settlers and the, uh, the people heading west on the Oregon Trail. This was a great place to stop and rest and camp, and uh, most everyone who went on the Oregon Trail would stop here at Alcove Springs. It's a very refreshing place. I walked down to the springs and it probably it felt 10 or 15 degrees cooler just walking um, right down there under the 
under the waterfall, I guess you could say, not the springs. But, um, but yeah, it's a beautiful little area to end the night on the uh, first day on the Oregon Trail. Today we are starting here in Marysville, uh, Marysville, Kansas, and stayed at the Heritage Inn Express. And um, pretty good hotel if you're looking for something like no frills and pretty inexpensive. Uh, nice clean room and good shower pressure. That's always a plus when, you, when I'm looking for hotels. Uh, but not always a lot of options out there in some of the smaller towns. And, uh, but that was a pretty good, pretty good one in Marysville, Kansas. Today, the goal is to get to Hastings, Nebraska. And quite a few uh, little small towns between here and there. We will obviously be crossing over the border. And um, we are starting here in Marysville where not only did the Oregon Trail pass near here and it, it didn't go exactly through Marysville, but it was close to here. And, um, but also this was, uh, the Pony Express came through here and the Pony Express went along with the Oregon Trail at, you know, at different parts as well. So we'll probably see some Pony Express stuff as well today. Last little bit of Kansas. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go up to Bremen, although the trail goes right that way, and then back over to 148 and straight into Nebraska. Why am I standing right in the middle of this street? Uh, because this side is Nebraska, this side is Kansas. So this is Lanham or Lanham, uh, Kansas slash Nebraska. So obviously that brings the Kansas portion of this trip uh, to a conclusion. Excited to check out Nebraska and Kansas. It's been awesome.